Linus Tech Tips coverage of Computex 2013 is powered by Western Digital. Our trusted gaming gear partner is Corsair Vengeance, and our trusted retail partner is NCIX.com. Hey guys, we're here at QNAP to check out their TurboNAS SS469 Pro. Name is a little bit complicated, but the hardware specs are not. It has an Intel Atom 2.3 GHz dual core processor, 1 GB of RAM, expandable up to 3 gigs. that's pretty cool. You can have 512 MB of flash memory, it has 4 HD slash SSD slots, that's 2.5 inch. Um, some USB stuff, other stuff. That's not that big of a deal. I'm going to show you the actual physical thing here right now. So you've got some pretty nice hot swappable bays. If I can get it out here. He just did it for me. There we go. Pretty nice hot swappable bays where you can mount your drives in there, shove them in. You got four bays. Fairly simple looking unit, but it looks nice and professional. But what actually wowed me is because I wouldn't normally be that excited about a NAS, but this one actually has a web control panel, so you can access all of your files away from home. If you're one of those kind of people that don't really like having all your files on, say, Dropbox or Google Docs or something like that because you don't like them being out there and controlled by someone else, you can actually run your own cloud server, so it's all your own stuff. There's tons of different options in here. You can have all your photos, music, videos, all that kind of stuff, easily accessible and easily sorted. You can actually pick which folders push into these easily selectable icons in their settings. Uh, you can set up exactly how you want it to be set up through your router, or soon, it's currently in beta, but very soon they'll have a way that it sets itself up for you so you don't even have to touch your router at all, which will be very nice once that's set up. You can share files, music, video, video, uh, music, video, pictures, whatever you want. You can have them publicly shareable through a link, or you can send them directly through an email to people that you want. So it's just basically gives you all the options that everything that you might currently be using, say Dropbox or Google Docs or Google Drive or SkyDrive or whatever. There's a billion of them, but it's all manageable by yourself. You can have it back up for you. You can set up group files. You, there's different apps you can download for it. It's crazy. You can have stuff in code currently uh, while you're using it. So basically this resource monitor down here, which I find awesome because I'm a hardware guy, will show you exactly how much it's currently using. It's not doing much right now. So the CPU is very low and the RAM is very low. But earlier we were encoding and it just maxed the CPU out through RAM through the roof and actually encoded a video on the fly while we were doing other things within the station and it didn't lag it out. So that was great. It's you can encode anything to work on anything. So like uh, the guy was helping me out with saying, you can have it run an iPhone video when you had it actually for massive format. You can tune it down, get lower uh, resolution rates and have it run in something else if you'd like. And one second here, I'm just gonna jump into their control panel. If you were worried about this being locked down and not being able to use it that great, jump into their control panel and there's every option you could pretty much ever want. You can have you can have things delete easily. You can have your own security setups. You can have eco power running. You can run firmware updates. Like I don't even, there's way too many options here to cover in a quick video like this, but it's got pretty much everything you could want, which is awesome. I personally find this kind of stuff very cool because I don't like hosting myself out, out in the cloud. Like I was saying earlier, I like having control of all my own files. I like being able to back up my own NAS. I like being able to back up all my own stuff. I like having my own hard drives. I don't know. It's just my kind of a thing. Just jumping back to the resource monitor real quick, if we actually click on the name resource monitor, it's gonna take a second to load up here, and then it'll come up. You can get way more in-depth statistics. Here we go. It's gonna take a second to populate this. I actually don't know if it will because I believe this is in beta, but it'll take a second to populate this, but it can show you your usage graphs. So CPU usage over the next little while, memory usage, we're gonna jump in here. There we go, that one's actually populating. So memory usage, you can see how much it's currently using, how much is free. So basically you can figure out, okay, maybe I need to buy a bigger QNAP system because I'm constantly encoding things and constantly converting things. Or this one's great for you because you're not converting things all the time, just every once in a while, and you just need four two and a half inch bays. This thing is pretty cool. I've seen a couple like them, but the user interface on this is very, very streamlined and very, very nice. So thanks for checking out our QNAP booth. We're gonna move on. Hey guys, still at the QNAP booth, just wanted to cover this before I left. Just in case you're worried about connectivity within your home, you can connect it through DLNA, HDMI, or AirPlay. One thing that he showed me was through HDMI, you can very easily set up Xbox Media Player, as we show up here. Xbox Media Player is awesome for home theater setups. So if you have this guy near your TV, you can have all your media on it right there and very, very easily stream to Xbox Media Player and still take the advantage of the accessible through the web platform that we showed you earlier. Thanks for watching our QNAP content. To see all of our content about Computex, subscribe to the Linus Tech Tips channel.